In this build of the software, we added a feature that I absolutely love. And I think it's a very handy feature that's going to make it really easy for you to edit some designs or modify some things. And as you know, when you are in the software and you select an object or a group of objects, you get this this box that goes around the edge and it has these little controls on it that you can make something larger. You can skew it, make it taller, more narrow if you want. You can rotate it a little bit. You've always had these controls available to you. But what we've done is we've given you even more control in this build. Um, it's something that you have to turn on if you want to utilize it and it's in the preferences. So if you go up to your program preferences which is this gear icon here and you come over to view the view tab here. The one that we're going to focus on is the show selection controls. So I'm going to check this box on and hit OK. And now watch what happens when I select this object. You'll notice that I still get this same box with controls in here, but there's also these icons now that show up along the edge. What these are here for is to give you some control or some things that you can do to the object once you um, once you have it selected or multiple objects. Like in this case, we have multiple things. I can select the individual parts or I can select everything here. And so also these will change according to what you have selected. Like in this case, since there's multiple objects selected, this icon right here shows up and this icon right here is a group and ungroup. So if I click on it, it's going to group the objects together. So um, now if I go and select it anywhere, it's going to be grouped. And then I can click this icon again and it will ungroup it. So now I can come in and select any part. So the nice thing about that is a lot of times we are wanting to work with something and we get it exactly how we want it and we want to group it. It just makes it easy once we have everything selected we want, we can click that icon and group it together. Okay, and over here we have a duplicate. So if I click this, it's basically going to copy and paste it. So if I click this icon, you'll notice that it made a duplicate. And, and you'll notice too that it moved it a little bit. And the reason that it repositions it slightly is to let you know that you did duplicate it. Because if it went right over the top, you might not know did it happen or not, or maybe you accidentally did it. So now, I can come over, bring it over here, and I have a duplicate of it. I can duplicate it again if I want and move another one. It just is really handy to do. Now let's say that I really wanted to um, get into it and I wanted to edit or see it better. There's this little magnifying glass here, and what this one is for is fitting whatever is selected um, to the screen so it makes it as large as it can be on the screen. So let me go ahead and click this icon and you'll notice that what it did is it zoomed the design in so now I can really get a good look at it if I needed to. Okay, So it's just a it's a nice um, little feature to have to be able to zoom into a section. You do have the ability up here in the, the X is let's say that you know what I don't want whatever is selected. Um, I can just come in here, hit the X, and it deletes it. So it removes it from um, the work page. Now, if that happens and you didn't really want to do that, remember you have undo here. You can just click undo and it will bring it right back. So you don't need to worry about that. Then we also have this icon, which is close. And this is more for objects that you select that... Um, you want to make sure that they're closed objects, especially when you're working with artwork, you know, for cutters or anything like that. You want to make sure that objects are closed and this allows you to do that. And, and I can show you um, kind of what I mean if I come in here and let's say I got it right there, but that was the end of it. So as I click off, you can see it's not closed here. I can click this icon and notice that it closes that line. It's very helpful, especially when you're working with satin stitches and stuff too. Um, a lot of times they'll have like an open end to them. This will allow you to close it. And once it's closed, you can do more things with it when um, like converting it to a fill or something like that. Uh, you can't uh, convert it to a 
you can't convert it to everything um, if it's not a closed object. The moment it's closed, then you can convert it to kind of whatever you need it to be. So it's a handy little feature right there um, as you're editing um, and you need to close something. This makes it so you don't have to leave the area, the selection area to do that. Um, also, there's this lock here. And the lock, what that is, is it actually locks the icon so that you can't select it or locks the objects. So you can't select them anymore. Like let's say you, you just finished an area and you're finding that you're accidentally selecting part of it and you want to make sure that it stays exactly the same or if you're even doing like save to so and you don't want a certain ex um, group of objects to be modified at all you can lock them and when you lock it you'll notice here that you you no longer have the ability to select it so it keeps it there and you can always come back over here in your properties box and you'll be able to find that object and you'll be able to unlock it so it's just it's just a, a feature that um, is easy to utilize um, and it makes it nice to work with so I want to come back over here to these objects that even coming to the original one and like I said before when I have multiple object selected I get a little bit different icons here now let me come in and just select one area okay so I selected just this area notice that I no longer have the group icon there because I only have one object selected you have to have multiple objects selected in order to group something together but you'll notice that now I have this icon right here and this is one of the things I love is that a lot of times when you're editing you'd go to select something then you'd come up and you'd click on the shape tool so you can get the access points well now you can access that right here so you can come in select an object click on this edit and you're right in to where you can change the angle lines the start and end points it's all right there at your fingertips so it's a just a, a really a really neat um, easy thing to work with um, and I think that you'll find that you'll utilize it quite a bit more than you thought you might and it's just really handy to have these tools at your fingertips right here and again you can access this through the preferences by clicking the icon right here and then coming into view and make sure this box right here for show selected controls is selected and that will allow you to come in and when you select objects have access to different features so hope you enjoy this new feature